I type this as I sit in the smallest room in the house, the wallpaper theme of lighthouses and seagulls mocking me, the tiny carved soaps for display only, and the towels reserved exclusively for guests, mere set decoration on the stage of my parting. I am at peace. I am ready to go. Had I read the reviews, I may not be in this predicament, but this is no time for regret. Like the Spartans at Thermopylae, though the battle was valiant, the ultimate result was determined before the first arrow was loosed. I shall resign myself to fate. It did not start this way. Gummy bears. How quaint. How wholesome. How harmless. From such assumptions, empires have fallen, and now so have I. I have been sitting here for what seems like weeks, but I am sure is only days, perhaps hours. At first, I was in denial. This cannot be happening. It's a nightmare, an apparition. I hoped and believed, but the saddening reality that was the horror of my condition soon confirmed itself. As Jean Valjean, having been released from prison, sallied forth, committed never to return, so the contents of me, paroled by the tiny bears, did likewise. Anger. Why? Why would anyone do this? Someone has to pay. I will exact my revenge. In retrospect, this was the shortest stage as my rage drained from my body, along with everything else. I promise I will be a better person, I bargained. If you allow this torment to pass from me, I will warn others. I will teach my children not to make the mistakes I have made. I will love with grandeur, live with gratitude, extending mercy to all who have wronged me. But alas, my undoing continued, unabated. The waves of depression that followed must have recalled those that the crew of the Edmund Fitzgerald felt as the waves of Lake Superior broke over the docks. No rescue, no hope, no light, only despair. But despair is a strange thing. One moment the most fetid enemy, it melts away in time. I am at peace. I have accepted my fate. At one point, I glimpsed myself in the mirror, in a voice, low, barely audible. I said to myself, So, this is how it's going to happen. This is how it ends. There is a solace in knowing and accepting your fate. Haribo, I hold no ill will. I blame no one. I have even forgiven myself. Tell my wife I loved her and my last thoughts were of her, and tell my children, I fought like a man. <laughs>